Netanya, Israel, more martial than art, this form of fighting extols the virtues of a poke in the eye and a timely kick to the groin. Its masters insist it is not a sport, because there are no rules, except for one, to survive. Krav Mega, the rough, close combat self-defense system developed in the Israeli military, has become a mainstay of special forces training here and an increasingly popular Israeli export. Global terrorism has increased the demand among law enforcement agencies and civilians abroad for instruction. And in a kind of return compliment, a detailed manual titled How to Survive in the West, and attributed to the Islamic State, advised jihadist recruits to learn the moves. But about 80 years after the Krav Mega street fighting system was conceived, its champions are sparring among themselves. The man credited with creating Krav Mega, Emrich Lichtenfeld, known as IMI, a boxing and wrestling champion who immigrated from Czechoslovakia and settled in the coastal town of Netanya, died in 1998 at the age of 88. Now his disciples, and the disciples' disciples, are competing over whose school is the most authentic and who is the real grandmaster. It is like a family fighting over an inheritance. The martial arts world is replete with controversy about who is the top instructor within a given discipline, said David Kahn, the chief instructor of the American branch of the Israeli Krav Mega Association that Mr. Lichtenfeld had established. Unfortunately, Krav Mega finds itself embroiled in the same type of internecine conflict, as IMI never appointed a successor. One of the claimants to his throne is Haim Gieden, 73, who leads the association. M. R. Khan, his longtime student, was recently in Israel to help produce a documentary aimed at recording the history of Krav Mega, weighing the various claims to M. R. Lichtenfeld's mantle and validating M. R. Gieden's credentials. I. M. I. Lichtenfeld was born in 1910 in Hungary and reached adulthood in Bratislava, in what was then Czechoslovakia. The son of a police detective who also ran a wrestling club, Mr. Lichtenfeld excelled in various athletic disciplines and is said to have developed his street fighting and mixed martial arts skills to protect his community from attacks by anti-Semites and marauding fascists. Mr. Lichtenfeld set off for the British Mandate of Palestine in 1940, and he began training the Zionist forces in skills like stick fighting and bayonet tactics. After the State of Israel was established in 1948, he became the Israeli military's close quarters combat chief. The system has since evolved into a vital component of Israeli combat training. Elite forces endure many hours of intense coaching. There is no competitive Krav Mega circuit, because the idea is to break all the rules, not play by them, although the army did institute an annual Krav Mega contest a few years ago. Paul Ziarto, an American fitness guru and co-founder of BMMA, a chain of mixed martial arts training centers, accompanied Mr. Khan to Israel and interviewed Mr. Gieden for the documentary.